Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to another eFootball 2022 video. Today we're going to be taking on the Legend Challenge in the Spanish League. So it is a random team. We don't know who we're going to face. You can see my collective team strength right there. And it's Hatafe. So here's my squad. We've got Leno in goal, Arejo and Vertonghen are my centre backs, Roberto Carlos and Reese James are my full backs. I've got defensive footers, Paredes and Camavinga, Nakata just ahead of those two. Pedri on the left, Adama Troy on the right, and Nzagi up top. Okay, so Nzagi to get us underway. Now, one of the things I would say is that it's quite easy on the, certainly superstar, even superstar difficulty, to get in between defense and attack with your attacking footer, especially if you're playing a 4-2-3-5, uh, 3-2, 4 2 3 one sorry, like myself, so... If I can just show you. So here, in, just in between the lines, between defense and attack, they're a little bit tighter. I don't know if it's because they're, they're playing a different formation or... But normally on Superstar, I find it quite easy. And if you can get someone like Nakata in between the lines, it's it's just devastating, really. Here we go. Look, this is what I was talking about. If you get him through the lines, you can do a scoop through ball and you can score. And this is pretty much my method for beating... The AI, like, all the time. Scoop through balls, similar, oh, exactly the same as Pez 2021. But I will bring out to Toro if that guy, that's going to help you. But it's literally exactly the same method as Pez 2021. And you're going to see examples of that anyway. But you can use a normal through ball, it really does depend. But I find the scoop through balls much better. It's much more cheesy, it's higher. <laughs> See here, this is what I was talking about. Getting in between the lines. My striker wasn't running for some reason. I don't know why he wasn't moving. But normally he does, he's got high attack and press, so that really does help with off the ball movement. Damn, Troy fouled. Here's Paredes. Camavinga. Fouled again. There we go, scoop through ball. Striker latches on, misses the target. But you can see, constantly doing this, you're going to eventually score. And then it's all about what do, what does Legend AI have in store for us from an attacking point of view. Right now, they're set to defensive, so they're letting us do all the attacking right now. I will bring out a defending tutorial. Certain techniques for different areas of the pitch that seems to work. Bit of super council there to cut across with Nzagi, but wasn't to be. Okay, inside. Right, I was using the matchup. Nice. Can we use secondary press here to try and eventually win the ball? And we do. And then we turn it over. And then Reese James. The other alternative is to go down the wings. Very, very easy to do against legend difficulty, as you're seeing here. Nothing too special about that. Whipped cross. Again, that high attacking pressure. You're hoping he's going to get on the end of that. But another avenue for attack is not just about using the scoop through ball. He's actually going to win that, yeah. I'll watch this now. Oh my goodness. For some reason, he tried to do a powerful back pass, which is absolutely infuriating. <laughs> because obviously, he hasn't got time to do that. Still, we carry on. We go again. Then he gets his hands on that. Roberto Carlos and the Pedri.
Notice they're no longer defensive. It's probably helping them, to be honest. Making this a little bit more awkward than it perhaps should be. That goal was purely my error. It's such a stupid error to make as well. Scoop through ball. Good deals with that. Got to get a little bit closer. Sort of around this area. Almost. We use that matchup quite well. Good interception by Vitongi there. Here's Kamavinga. Go look for a 1 2 here with Nzagi. Oh, he's been fouled. Surely. Nakata. Scoop through ball. There we go. Finally. Okay. <laughs> Got there in the end. Got there in the end. See how the AI defense just really struggled to deal with that. Same for Pez 21, to be honest. Didn't get a lot of height on that one. Might not even be the scoop through ball, but it still worked regardless. But the method's the same. It, like every AI team I've faced, I've faced quite a few now. They all suffer from this deficiency where they can where you can get the ball in between defense and attack and the same against human players it's very very hard to stop especially if they're not expecting it you can also cut off the wings but that was not the best from pedri ah oh, that was supposed to be to pedri i don't know why i went all the way back there Good matchup use there. So we make the interception. Inzaghi. Pedri. They're swarming me right now. Literally, as soon as I get the ball there. Onto me in a flash. Not good enough. That's good. That's good. There we go. Quiet. He's a little bit of super cancel to get on the end of that just to change the direction of that pass watch so win the ball here I think if I don't change direction now that number 15 will cut him across and win the ball for me watch watch you're going to see it here this touch that touch there had a little bit of super cancel just to change the direction of that ball I think that just about helps me Super Cancel is R1 and R2. Right bumper, right trigger for an Xbox. We don't mind that. We can deal with those all day long. Here we go. In between defense and attack. Scoop through ball. We just about deal with it. We can see the danger it provides. What you can do from corners. Just play it short, get this guy here. Especially we've got the Roberto Carlos as well. Little back heel. No, they heard that one. <laughs> I do prefer the short corners, but it's perhaps I should have read where he was going rather than repeat what I did earlier. Which seemed to work quite well. Typical when it doesn't work, it will come off here. Sort of live recording. Okay, when it comes to defending, I, like I said, it's three parts of the pitch, and then I change the way I defend in all three parts. I defend like that when I'm sort of in the midfield area, and I'm going to show you these techniques later on. Oh, that's, I'll tell you what, I just got away with that. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was so fortunate. I didn't do anything there. But the defending side of that aspect of play 
is how it got me there in the first place. That was just pure luck. <laughs> the way it just ricochets off my player into the path of Inzaghi. Of all people, you want six yards out controlling the ball. Game over. So, they are much, much easier than Pez 21. Much easier. The fact that you can get in between the lines so easily. I mean, the only formation I've tried is a 4 2 3 3 1 3 fair. Let's just try and mess around now. Trying a few little flicks and tricks in the area. And then Zaggy. But hopefully you're seeing that this isn't the most difficult. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to do that into a double touch. And then I'm going to try a finesse. Didn't quite come off. This is better. Oh, that's one thing I love about this game. Skills don't always come off. Not all skills come off. Pedri just clatters his man to give away the free kick. Oh, I want to make some subs. Players are going to be tiring. Do you betting him? You're leaving the cat on. He's he's special. Even if you even if he's tired. I'll bring on Pepe. So I'll put Pedri through the middle. I'll put Pedri through the middle and bring on Martinelli. I'm gonna change betting to a CMF. I much prefer. DMs, I think, you know, like I said, the importance of getting in between the lines. The DMs help sort of deal with that to an extent. I think I'll get lucky there. Try right. Makata, Reese James, Kamavinga into Nzagi, who <laughs> just about. Hurdles his man or hurdles that challenge. Kamavinga continues his run. Finesse shot. Bottom corner. 4 1. Should have had another that. Substitution on the field. Number 25. Eduardo Camavinga. If this announcer says Eduardo Camavinga one more time. Number 10. <laughs> Coming on the field. Thank goodness for that. Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> it's killing me. Number oh seven. my god. Nicolas Pepe. Number 35. Easy. Easy as you like. Jude Bellingham teed up by Inzaghi with a lovely little touch here. The spin just makes the pass easier. It's not for flashiness. The angle improves it. Um, say the defensive techniques <laughs> are pretty good generally. Four added minutes has been indicated. Oh, that's an awful pass. Well played, Pedri. 
Lovely. Little double touch. There's six. Six one. How often do you do that against legendary in Pez 21? Not often, right? So it shows you much easier. Much easier. But yeah, those techniques, getting in between the lines, the scoop through ball, the stunning crosses, especially we've got pinpoint crossing with like Reese James and Roberto Carlos. Really does depend on the makeup of your team. You already played to the strengths. I've got Zaggy there as well. I've got Nakata and just been in behind his lot. You know, the scoop through balls are, are absolutely lethal. Anyway, that is all for me, ladies and gents. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it's going to give you some insight on the things to do. I had the controller left on, so you can probably see how I'm defending in certain areas of the pitch. Might help you. But um, like I said, I'm going to bring out a full defending tutorial later on. So be sure to check that out. Anyway, that is pretty much it for me, ladies and gents. I'm just going to click next just so you can see that that was on Legend. I didn't skip the game or anything or didn't repeat the game 100 million times. You can see there, 6-1, Hatafe. And there's my points. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.